In this video, I will show you how can we undo some changes or revert changes we did before. So, how can we do it? To understand how we can revert changes, we need to find out uh, where we are. And based on this information, we can um, do different uh, steps. For example, we can implement changes on the file system level, or we already added uh, these changes to staging and uh, ready to commit, or we even committed file. And um, based on this information, we need the different uh, steps. We need to do different steps to revert our changes. So let's start from the first version. It's um, file system changes. So we just added add some file or changed uh, already created file and uh, we didn't commit this file, didn't add it to staging area, just to want to remove these changes. Yes, we can uh, just copy the previous version and then uh, delete it manually. But uh, what we are going to do in case if we have a few files, it's very difficult to handle a lot of files. For working with file system, we have a common git checkout with uh, file name. We can pass a file name. Let's try it. So let's open our repository. And here we have two files. Let's uh, edit both of them and uh, check what the git will show us. So we added this one, Ctrl X. We save and uh, edit readme also. Ctrl X, yes, save. So now let's uh, check what do we have. It's a git uh, status. Right now we see that we have two modified files. It's readme and sunk. And uh, git suggests two comments. Use git add file to update what we will be committed. It's a add to staging. Or we can git restore and the file name to discard changes. In this case, this, co this comment will remove these changes, but uh, let's try do it with uh, git checkout. There is a common git checkout, we checked al al already. Okay, let's try git checkout and the uh, file name, minus minus and uh, sun txt for example. Let's call it and again let's call git status. So now we can see that we have just uh, one file modified its uh, readme and let's try Let's take a look on uh, sunk txt file, what is there. And here we see that we don't have previous uh, line, we don't have previous changes. So everything was deleted. And uh, it means uh, if you undo some changes, remove them, you cannot go back. So in Git, everything what you already deleted is deleted. It's okay. And uh, right now let's try to revert all changes in all files. For example, let's edit again this file. Save it. Again, git status. We have two modified files and uh, let's revert all files. For example, we have a couple folders. In, in each folder you have a lot of files and we want to revert everything. So in this case, we can call git checkout dot dot means uh, all files and all directory in this directory below so everything will be restored so we see that uh, updated to path and uh, git status shows that uh, there are no any changes and we can uh, check uh, readme and we see that uh, there is no change let's go back Okay, it works fine with the files we already we created before and modified. But uh, let's imagine we created a couple of new files. Let's clear it. Let's touch, uh, for example, report doc x and uh, touch uh, and some Excel. And uh, right now we call git status. We see that we have two new files. And um, git suggests just uh, to add these files because um, there were no such files before and uh, there were no previous version. So in, if right now we will try to git uh, checkout, checkout report, for example, we can see that uh, this file doesn't have uh, the previous version and uh, we can't we can't revert because here we can see that uh, it didn't match any files known to git so git uh, does know the, about this file so how can we remove it for this we have um, we have git clean uh, 
comment with a couple of flags. There are three of them we are going to use today. It's uh, X. It means uh, ignore every ignore rules from git ignore file. We will talk about it later. D. It's a directory. It means the folders uh, remove folders and everything what what's inside. And F. It's force. We need to call this command to change to apply these changes. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's call it uh, git clean, for example, without uh, f, and we see that it requires force. We can change this uh, configuration, but uh, we are not going to do. We just call it with uh, f, and here we see that uh, two files were removed. And if we call git status, we see that uh, everything is fine, no files, and the uh, tree, tree is clean. And the next one, what we are going to do, it's, uh, for example, we already added to, to staging. So we are ready to commit this file. Let's add it again. Let's save it, uh, git status. So we have this modified file and uh, we need to uh, add to it, it to staging. Let's call, for example, git GUI to try to do it in this. Okay, let's try to do it here. Let's rescan and we see that we have this one file and let's add it to stage. So here we can close it and uh, git status. So we, he, we see that this file is modified. So let's try to uh, check out this file. So let's call git check out, check out and the song txt and git status. So we see that nothing was changed. It's still modified. So to reverse the change, we need to remove it from index, from staging area to file system, and then we can delete it in file system. So to do it, we can call command git reset to flex and to minuses and uh, again song txt. So we see that unstaged changes and git status. We again have one just modified file, it's called red, and uh, now we can uh, call git checkout, git status, and we see that everything is clean and uh, we have no changes, and if we will open this file again, we see that we have no changes. Okay, let's clean it, and uh, the third option, when we already committed this file, so here we can use uh, git reset with the head tilde or carrot. And here number of carrot, carrots, it means uh, how many commits we need to go back. Or if this number is very big, huge, we can use a number. So for example, two commits behind and the everything was, was what was committed before will be uncommitted. Or we can do another option, it's uh, commit with amend. amend. So what does it mean? For example, you committed some file, some files, and this commit is more or less okay, but you need to change it. You need to update this commit. So in this case, we can do not remove it. We can just uh, edit this commit and uh, leave what we have. So let's try to do it. So let's uh, check status and git log. So right now we have a. Uh, February 19, last commit, new update. So let's try to create, uh, let's try to update this uh, commit. So we will uh, we'll change one file. Again, new line, save it. And uh, let's open git GUI to show how it works from UI perspective. So, and here we have this one new line. We can add to stage area, and here there is a radio button. We can new commit or amend last commit. Let's change it to amend last commit. And in stage area, we see that um, in the last commit, we had uh, two files, we had updated two files committed, and uh, now we see that new updated. It's the last commit message. We can add 
add something like uh, edit new line today. So and uh, let's commit it. So right now we can uh, check our git log and uh, see that uh, we have this new message. It's added new line today. And uh, this commit was implemented February 19. It was yesterday. We did these changes today, but commit is from yesterday. It's what we expect and git status. We just see that we have one different from remote server, but it's okay. Everything locally is updated. But uh, let's imagine that we committed this file and uh, we won't revise these changes because it's not what we expected. Amend command is a great command and uh, for example I use it almost every day, I guess every day to push to merge request one commit, just we'll talk about later. But uh, what we are going to do if we want to remove the whole merge request, the whole commit. So in this case let's call git res reset head and uh, for example one carrot. So on state changes we see that um, git status, we see that right now we have modified two files, it's uh, from last commit and if we call git uh, log, we will see that uh, we do not have the previous commit we had before. And we don't have a commit we implemented yesterday, we committed this amend flag today, we have just two modified files. And uh, for example, these files are already in file system. The previous commit was removed and uh, we can delete this file or add to staging. So let's check rescan and uh, we can add a file to stage. Let's again git status. And here we see that one file is uh, modified and another one is already added to stage. So we c in case we call git checkout dot, you will see that we have just one modified files, but we don't have already, don't have readme file. And let's rescan. And we see that we have just readme file. Now you know a few ways how we can revert commits. So it's very important because in git, uh, one of the most popular questions is uh, how can I revert my last commit or how can I undo or uncommit my my last commit because we did something and we won't revert it. And uh, so right now we know how to do it.